Uh, I now call the member for Hawkesbury. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I must get down to Mittagong. Mr. Speaker, I was recently invited to become an ambassador for Life Education Australia, and this was an invitation I was honoured to accept. Life Education Australia is a non-profit organisation that was founded in 1979 by the Reverend Tev Knox, who, through his work with the Wayside Chapel, witnessed how healthy and social issues, uh, health and social issues, were impacting on the lives of Australian children. His vision for life education was centred on the powerful concept that each and every child is unique, a true marvel in body, mind and spirit. He believed in motivating and empowering children so that they may actively draw on their own knowledge to make safer and healthier choices. Ted unfortunately passed away back in 1995. His approach to education continues to inspire the development of life education's programs today. I recognise the contribution made by Verity Blackman, the CEO of Life Education Australia, Jonathan Peatfield, who recently was appointed as CEO of Life Education New South Wales, and two people that through my previous work and charitable commitments, I've had the highest respect for, the Honourable Alan Cadman, OAM, mm -hmm. Honorary Chair, and Paula Roden. Over seven million young Australians have participated in their program since 1979, and last year alone, they worked in over 4,200 schools and preschools and shared their program with more than 710,000. This year is the organisation's 40th year of operation. I'm sure many would recall either learning from or having their children learn from Healthy Harold. Healthy Harold and his friends at Life Education Australia are innovators in the health education <coughs> space and have unveiled some new technology. They have utilised 3D and augmented reality fly-throughs of the human body through TAM-E, which is designed to teach children through the workings of the body, including the effects of drug, tobacco and alcohol. Constant revisions of Life Education's program ensures that their programs remain up-to-date, engaging, relevant and appropriate for all students. I recognise not only the dedication of educating children, but also the tireless effort of educating parents as well. Life Education provides th free parent and carer information sessions, which are great forums to increase knowledge, share views and develop strategies to raise happy, healthy children. Life Education Australia adopts a system-wide approach, whereby they engage the whole school community, involving students, teachers and parents. I strongly encourage all parents and school staff to welcome life education onto their school grounds and to make the most of their valuable service in educating our children. Mr Speaker, I also thank those who donate to this wonderful organisation for ensuring that the work that they do will continue. The donations are a great value to those who receive the service of the organisation and to community as a whole who benefit from the growth of educated children. This same appreciation also goes out to all volunteers of the organisations and those who support the organisation in many other ways or capacity. I congratulate all that are and have been involved with Life Education Australia for a successful 40 years. I have no doubt this organisation will continue with such success for many more years to come and I look forward to supporting the organisation as an ambassador. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr. Speaker.